Mata Stewart drops massive blow on Meghan for stealing name of her reality TV show and trademark filing. In a clash that has captured the attention of both the entertainment and business worlds, two powerful women find themselves at odds over a seemingly innocuous name. Martha Stewart, the iconic lifestyle guru, is reportedly preparing to take legal action against Meghan Markle, the duchess-turned-entrepreneur, for allegedly infringing on the name of her reality TV show, Martha Knows Best. As the battle unfolds, it raises questions about the boundaries of intellectual property and the consequences of copying established brands. In this article, we delve into the details surrounding this compelling legal dispute and explore the potential implications for both Martha Stewart and Meghan Markle. But before we continue, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell for updates. Meghan Markle's American Riviera Orchard Following her departure from the British royal family, Meghan Markle embarked on a new venture, launching her own lifestyle brand called American Riviera Orchard. The brand offers a range of products, including oils, jams, spreads, and recipe books with an emphasis on a healthy and sustainable lifestyle. Markle's foray into entrepreneurship has been met with considerable attention and anticipation from her global fan base. Martha Stewart's Trademark Concerns With the introduction of her lifestyle brand, Meghan Markle filed for a trademark under the name Mama Knows Best LLC. However, this choice of name has raised eyebrows as it bears a striking resemblance to the title of Martha Stewart's reality TV show, Martha Knows Best. This similarity has ignited a legal firestorm, with Martha Stewart reportedly preparing to challenge Markle's trademark filing. The stakes are high, as a successful trademark registration would grant Markle exclusive rights to use the name for a wide range of products, including cookbooks, tableware, kitchen items, and gifts. Martha Stewart's Legacy To understand the gravity of this dispute, we must first appreciate Martha Stewart's enduring influence on the lifestyle industry. For decades, Stewart has been a household name, synonymous with elegance, homemaking, and culinary expertise. Her show, Martha Knows Best, captivated audiences by showcasing her gardening and household projects during the pandemic, while also offering sage advice to celebrities seeking a touch of domestic finesse. With her brand deeply rooted in the public consciousness, any perceived infringement upon her intellectual property carries significant weight. The Plagiarism Allegation Critics argue that Meghan Markle's choice to adopt a name resembling Martha Stewart's show is a blatant act of plagiarism. They question the originality of Markle's branding and suggest it may be an attempt to ride on the coattails of Stewart's established reputation. The similarities between the two names are difficult to overlook leading many to question Markle's intentions and casting doubt on the legitimacy of her trademark application. Trademark Approval in Question As the legal battle looms, the question arises, will Meghan Markle's trademark application be approved? The outcome will depend on various factors, including the strength of Martha Stewart's case, the distinctiveness of each brand, and any potential likelihood of consumer confusion. Trademark law aims to protect businesses from unfair competition and safeguard consumers from confusion or deception. In this case, the courts will need to carefully weigh these factors to determine the extent of any infringement and whether Markle's use of the name poses a threat to Stewart's established brand. Conclusion The clash between Martha Stewart and Meghan Markle over the alleged trademark infringement serves as a captivating case study in the world of intellectual property. The dispute raises important questions about the boundaries of creativity, originality, and fair competition in the business realm. As the legal battle progresses, the outcome will undoubtedly have significant implications for both Stewart and Markle, as well as broader implications for trademark law in the digital age. Ultimately, this clash of influential women reminds us of the importance of protecting one's intellectual property and the potential consequences that may arise from copying established brands and diluting their unique identities.